Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, we're going to have a little um, tutorial today on FLDG. A couple of you out there have been asking me to kind of explain a little bit more. I've posted um, on the uh, official SWL channel Facebook group the uh, image of uh, a satellite image that I received from the Boston station, Boston, Massachusetts uh, marine, marine station on uh, 6... It's actually 6340 6, kilohertz, but uh, you tune it at 6338.5 or roughly when you actually want to tune it in the upper sideband to uh, decode a uh, weather facts. One of the things I want to talk about, uh, first of all, in weather facts is when you choose the operations mode, most weather facts are IOC 576. This is the number of scan lines basically that are uh, the weather facts are made of. So that's the first thing to note. Um, also, another thing that a lot of you are actually asking me is why are my scan, my weather facts reception broken? So you'll start having the code, and in the middle, um, you will see that it's broken. It doesn't match, and it might break several times during the code. Now, one of the major problems of this, and I've noticed that it is probably the number one problem, is the fact that your computer is working too hard to decode the image. So if you're using an older computer that's not very powerful, most of the time in FLDG it has a hard time decoding correctly and that breaks up the image. So you might need to actually either uh, use multi-PSK that might be a little better actually at doing this uh, or maybe try on a computer that's a little more powerful uh, it seems that that is probably one of the first things. Now, if your computer is powerful enough, another thing that will, of course, be a problem is if you are using or doing too many things at the same time on it. So if other software is running in the background, if you're doing other things while it's decoding, it might actually also break the image. So make sure that your computer is only doing that and nothing else while decoding to have a clear image. As for the slant or the alignment, the alignment of a picture, the best way to have that is to actually have a picture that actually decodes from the start. So when you listen to a um, weather facts station, and we'll have an example because I'll actually have a real live example and commenting on it, is the fact that there's of course a start of an image, there's a uh, a series of tones and then it actually gets into the official decoding well at the start of this image there's a coded uh, line and FLDG uses that coded information to align itself when you are decoding an image so it's very important to uh, make sure that you decode from the start that will help you get a perfectly aligned image as for the slant, usually FLDG can correct the slant by itself. So if it starts a little slanted, wait a little bit, and you might notice that it actually corrects itself. On, on my decodes, most of the time, after you know um, maybe uh, 30 seconds to a minute, you see that the slant actually corrects itself and becomes okay. But if you do have problems with alignment or slant, you do have these little sliders here on the bottom, just above the waterfall, uh, on the bottom left. So you got LPM 120, you, that you don't touch anything. But here slant, you have uh, the arrows that can actually make you slant or move the, uh, correct the slant manually. Same thing with the alignment. Every um, time you decode an image, you notice there's a big black bar in that image. That needs to be on the edges uh, on the left or right of the image usually so to correct the alignment you also have a line and you can actually push that uh, black bar to the edges where it might actually come back to the middle if you um, if you decode from starting the middle of a, a, an image for example if you haven't received the coded um, entry or the coded um, message at the top to help FLDG sometimes it actually wants to align itself um, and it doesn't correctly so you can align it manually if you want here so that's uh, a few pointers here for those that are trying to decode weather facts images 
um, and of course we'll have real live uh, decodings where we're I'm gonna actually kind of talk about what um, happens and how to uh, you know um, correct certain situations if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching